In this video we're going to show you a similar process that we did to eliminate unwanted objects in, in an, an image using Photoshop in a previous video. In this one we're going to do it in Adobe Photoshop Elements 11. Now if you don't know already, Elements, Photoshop Elements is a watered down lighter version of the full Photoshop and it actually comes in at about a tenth of the price. So if you're not sure what software to buy uh, and you can't really afford Photoshop then I would heartily recommend looking at this. Now. The first thing you notice when we open a photo in to Photoshop Elements is you've got three ways of actually working on a photo here. Quick, Guided, Expert. Quick is if you want a quick fix to a photo where you can make your normal uh, exposure adjustments, levels, colour, balance, sharpening, that kind of thing. Then you can use this one just to make quick adjustments and output the photo. If you want guided um, tour around the software, then to a good way of actually learning how to use it and how to use Photoshop Elements is to use the tips on down the side here so you can recompose a shot, sharpen it. Each one of these you click on you're given a, a bunch of options and it will actually teach you how to actually use that. So it's pretty good. Now we're not going to use any of these for this tutorial we're going to go straight into the expert mode and when we enter that you can see that these palettes down the side here are pretty much the same as what you get in Photoshop. So if you're used to using Photoshop or if you've tried it maybe on a friend's computer or, or you've had a trial of it um, then you'll be used to a lot of these kind of diagrams and uh, tools. So we're going to try and do exactly what we did in Photoshop before. Now if you have watched that video, the other video of us doing this in Photoshop CS5, you would have liked the content aware feature. Now you wouldn't think that that amazing feature would make its way down to something that costs a tenth of the price, but if you're interested keep watching and we'll show you what uh, is available to you in this software. Now to start off we're going to do exactly what we did before. We want to keep just this bird, these two birds here and then get rid of everything else. So we're also going to straighten the photo and crop it down a bit. So let's just first of all straighten the photo by again using the rectangular marquee tool, clicking on the outside and dragging or again you can just do Control and A and that will select all. Once again you can select Control T to go into the, um, the transform mode and next we need to bring up the grid so we go control speech mark yet again and then we go to the outer edge of the photo until you get the bent arrow and then just turn the photo to the point where you want it and then just double click inside or use the tick down here and that will crop the photo and then we're going to do control and speech mark again to lose the guidelines and then again we're going to use the crop tool down here in the modify section and crop almost the same as we did before to about there. So we're going to eliminate everything that's kind of unwanted in the shot and just leave the attention on the birds there. Now you can't or I can't use the scroll wheel here to um, increase and decrease the size of the photo so you need to hold down the alt key and then scroll and that will allow you to use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out. Okay, And once you've zoomed in if you want to then look around the photo press the space bar until the hand appears left click and drag the photo around and that should allow you to actually move the photo about. Okay, so what we're going to do first of all is we are going to get rid of these two birds down here. Now we're going to use the same tools as before, which was the we're going to start with the clone tool first of all. So we go over to here into the enhance section and click on the clone stamp tool. And we're going to do the same again. If you look down here, we've got a dialog box where we can choose the size of the brush, the opacity and the type of brush, whether you want a hard edge or a soft edge, that kind of thing. So we're going to choose a soft edge as before, uh, an average sized brush and opacity at 100%. We're going to zoom in and first of all we're going to get rid of the seagull's head here. So we select by quickly clicking Alt, exactly the same as Photoshop until we get the target. Left click to select the area, release the Alt key, come over to the part of the bird you want to clone over and then just start cloning simple as that and we can just clone the top bit of that head away we're going to choose this section now just come over to here and go down a bit to about there and then what we need to do is bring some of the drips in so we're going to select the drips from over here or the splashing water and just come down like this we're going to select areas from here and just bring it across do the same here, select this area, just bring it across, try and make it look as natural as possible so that it's not obvious that we've actually done any cloning. And then we're just going to select this area here and bring it right over 
we need some darker bits there in a second so let's just choose a bit more of this let's get this water finished first just try and just keep taking selections from out everywhere around just to try and make it look as natural as possible to about there so these swans uh, sorry the seagulls heads gone at the moment now we need to erase the rest of the body here so if we select some of the water from over here which is a similar kind of look and bear in mind if we had depth of field like you can see here it's the water's blurred so if I took a selection from there and posted it pasted it here it wouldn't look right because it obviously would be blurred so we need to select a part of the water that's on the same focal plane which is about here so if I alt left click and then bring that over and just start cloning it in over here it starts to erase all of the seagulls there like so let's just keep going over and we're going to select some of the more smoother water here for this bit keep it trying to make it look as natural as possible now we've reached the edge there but I'll come back to that in a second so let's now choose this bit here just to make that look better and then the bottom there now there's nothing to be reflected there so we need to get rid of that so let's just take a selection from here just bring that over to lose that select this bit here just to get rid of these white bits because there are no white reflections and that looks pretty good I'm just going to lose that bit so we've got rid of those seagulls from there but again as in the other tutorial we've got a bit of a line going down there where it looks fairly obvious we've done some work so now we're going to select the healing brush tool now this is where it gets kind of good and I didn't think I wasn't expecting this uh, Photoshop Elements 11 has just come out and I've just downloaded it and here we can actually when we've got the healing brush uh, the spot healing brush selected uh, obviously you've got the normal standard healing brush which obviously you would select the brush size select a um, a brush that's fairly soft let's take that right down to zero and then you would work as normal so we can take a selection from over here and then just do the normal spot healing like this and that will actually get rid of any kind of look that we've given the image where it shows that we've actually done some work so we can just clear all of that and leave it somewhere around there obviously in fact let's go back a couple of spaces to about there that looks pretty good you wouldn't necessarily know that we'd worked on that but there's one other feature now I'm going to show you that it's pretty good you can before I do that you can see here that we can do everything that we did in Adobe Photoshop CS5 we can do exactly the same thing in Adobe Photoshop Elements 11 and again for a tenth of the price it's a bit of a no-brainer if if you only need to do the basic stuff now this fantastic new tool they've added into Photoshop Elements 11 if we go to the spot healing brush you can see you've got proximity match create texture or there you go content aware so they've actually brought this amazing feature over to Photoshop Elements from CS5 and 6 now I'll show you how this works it's a very quick way of eliminating something out of a photo so if I now select this bird in its entirety I'm going to close this just to give me a bit of extra space increase the size of this and just move that over now I've got the spot healing brush set to content aware so now watch this this is all I've got to do if I want to get rid of this entire seagull I actually left click and keep it left click all the time you're selecting this bird or this object any object and we're going to go around the entire body and outline of this seagull again trying to keep it close to the edge because we want the content aware to be able to pull detail from around the object so if we try and keep it as close as possible to the water and any detail around the outside as possible to about there so that's the outside done again don't let go of the mouse just keep painting away until you've completely smothered the entire object with the selection let's come right down here we're going to do the legs in a sec okay so that's the bird done and let's just do his legs now I could do these again in a second with a smaller brush but for the sake of the tutorial I'm just going to go over it so now we've got the entire bird selected with the spot healing brush set to content aware now if I let go of the left click button you'll see what happens so I've let go it's now going to start working on that image let's just see how well it does and voila 
that's not bad at all for a piece of 60 pound for a piece of software worth 60 pounds i think that's pretty outstanding there's minimal work you need to do there now um if we just go back uh, in fact i'll go back in a second but what i'm actually going to do to clean this up is go back to the brush and select the normal spot healing brush slightly bigger size and then i can literally just kind of smooth out the areas where it's missed i'm going to do that a little bit there as well but i can actually just tidy up the rest of this shot just to try and make it look a bit more natural uh, that's not too bad let's just get rid of this bit here where it's pulled in some sharper information uh, obviously you can use the clone brush as well if you want to keep it a bit more realistic you can use the clone brush over here uh, just to get rid of some of the more obvious bits but then go back to the healing brush and bring these in and try and blend it as much as possible so it looks more natural uh, that's not bad at all go up to here and just bring that down let that do its work okay may have gone over that a bit too much there just about there <laughs> that's not bad considering what this software is and how much it costs I think you'll agree that's not bad at all it was very quick and easy to get rid of that bird and it's done a really good job of using the content aware to actually uh, fill in the spaces in the background obviously you can get rid of all this splash and the and the, uh, in fact let's try and do that let's select that brush again and the content aware and let's just see if it will get rid of those reflections I'm not sure if it will I'm kind of flying a bit blind here let's just see if it will pull the information from around the outside and get rid of that I'm not expecting it to at all um, but again you can do everything you can do in Photoshop in Photoshop elements so that's not too bad obviously you can work on that and clear some of that away but uh, you know it's pretty good let's try this bit of splashing here this software is actually a lot of fun if you haven't got any editing software yet I'd totally recommend you get hold of a copy of this like I say it's only 60 pounds there you go it's got rid of that splashing and added the water back in so I think this is pretty good um, if you can't afford Photoshop but you like the tutorial and you want to be able to do this to your photos get hold of a copy of Photoshop Elements there's a link below somewhere to the site um, and then you'll be able to obviously clear any unwanted objects away from the photo and actually use all the tools available to tidy up a photo crop it all that kind of thing so i hope that helps i hope both of these tutorials have helped and um, and we'll see you on the next video thanks very much